Vehicles have been using mostly R134A refrigerants since the mid-90s, but now vehicles are arriving at your shop equipped with R1234YF refrigerant, mostly because it's been mandated as being a more environmentally friendly option. We have a few service tips next. First off, there are two main refrigerants you're likely to run into when a vehicle rolls into your shop. R134A and R1234YF. Whichever refrigerant the vehicle has, that is the only type of refrigerant that should be used as a replacement. Swapping one for the other will only lead to potential problems for the vehicle as well as your AC recycle and recovery machines. The fastest way to tell is by looking at the decal under the hood that indicates the refrigerant and oil specifications. Second, you can't use mineral-based lubricants with R134A refrigerant. When R12 was the industry standard, compressors used mineral-based lubricants. When the industry switched to R134A, the OEMs had to switch oils too, because a mineral-based oil doesn't mix with R134A and will not move through the system and this can result in compressor failure. The answer was a move to PAG, also known as polyalkylene glycol oils. R1234YF also requires a PAG equivalent oil. PAG oils come in different viscosities, such as PAG46, PAG100, and PAG150, and OEM recommendations can vary. If the OEM specifications are not available, some technicians have chosen to use PAG100 in all factory R134A AC systems because of its universal viscosity. Third, pay close attention to the amount of oil in the compressor upon removal. HVAC systems circulate refrigerant oil with the refrigerant through the system, and when a system is recovered, some of the oil remains in other system components as a film. HVAC systems with too much oil can result in reduced cooling capacity, and systems with excessive lubricant will create an internal coating that results in less heat transfer. So if you don't know how much oil was drained from the compressor, then you won't know how much remains in the system, and because of this, you won't know how much to add back. Also keep in mind that many new compressors come pre-filled with oil, so you'll have to drain the appropriate amount from the compressor before installing. I'm David Sickles coming to you from the Tire Review Continental Tire Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.